sitting in my truck. So ELD shit coming up. I thought I'd make myself a motherfucking video, put my fucking input on this shit as an operator. Because it's really fucked up, like how these cats up here in Washington, man, they making all these motherfucking rules. They not understand, man, we ain't making no money. I'm owner operator, only been in the business 2017. And for me, I'm sorry, for about two years. But I'm like borderline bankrupt. Uh, I'm like five, six, seven months late on my truck payments. Um, I'm hiding my truck just to make sure repo don't come and take this bitch. I'm on paper logs. I'm broke as hell. I'm out here struggling. I'm going to let everybody know. I'm 100% illegal. It's not an owner operator out here right now before these electronic log books kick off. We trying to get our money in. I'm just letting DLT know that. I don't give a fuck. But, yeah. Six years running. I ain't never had no law group violation. Well, I had one recently last week. City, local cop pulled me over. I was in the wrong lane. What the fuck ever? $900 ticket. I'm going to tell the judge, nigga. I'm going to keep on doing that shit as long as I can do it because it's fucking worth it in the long run. But with that said, you got these shippers and companies out here, Electron Logs. I'm like, has a, has a, has a, a situation been addressed when you get to a shippers and you're late and shippers want to fine you $500? Who the fuck gonna pay for that? Because Electron Law is finna slow everything down. Oh, about a week ago, you know, I'm talking to my boss, man, whatever. I, I Like, you got Walmart, Fred Myers, most of these places, Targets, DCs, everybody know they take five, six hours. But anyways, it, it, I don't think anybody's addressed the situation of, okay, I get to a shipper at night, there's nowhere to park. So where do I park? To about two, three miles away from the shipper. In the morning time, my 10 hour break isn't up. What am I doing? I'm driving on this highway. The speed limit is about 55 miles per hour and I gotta go about four or five miles away. So what am I supposed to do? Be late? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then get delayed and then stay a whole extra day? No, you get up and drive there because you gotta make your fucking deliveries. So, now I get to the shipper and I'm there for about five hours. Only drove three miles. I get my next pickup info. Now let, let's pretend we, we was on electronic logs now. I get my next pickup, it's 30 miles down the street. I get to that pickup, I'm there for about another four and a half hours. That's over almost about 10 hours of off duty time, which leaves me about three hours to drive if I had electronic logs. So you mean to fucking tell me that I'm supposed to deal with that bullshit and I'm only legally supposed to work only three and a half hours a day and I'm supposed to feed my family and I'm supposed to sit down just because I moved the truck? Almost three and a half hours I, can, I only get to drive because shippers took a total of 10 hours and you know, 14 hours. But I was on paper logs. So what did I do? Because I didn't get loaded until around 6.30 at night. I said out there, I started my log books around like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Said that I got uh, delivered, drove 30 minutes, was there for like an hour, 7 o'clock, I took off and drive off, and I drove to about 3 o'clock in the morning. That's what the fuck we do out here. That's how the fuck you eat. That's how you fucking survive out here. But y'all stupid motherfuckers gonna tell me that after being at a ship for a total of 10 hours and just because I moved the truck, uh, a, th a total of 35 mi miles, maybe? I can only now work after being loaded three hours. How the fuck would you feel if you got up to go to work and you was only told you could work three hours a day? How y'all gonna fucking feed your family? I, I like to know because I don't give a fuck about this electronic law. I don't give a fuck about the situation. The point, is, the point I'm trying to make is that at the end of the day, a motherfucker, if he, if he, if he spending ten hours at a shipper and he maybe only drove an hour from one shipper to the next shipper, when these electronic logs kick off, when shit like that kick off, everything's gonna be late. Everything's gonna be backed up. That's just exactly what it is. Especially if you live in high traffic areas like I do out here in Cali in LA. We pick up a load anywhere after 2 p.m. We not getting out of LA to almost 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night because of traffic. We spending two to three hours in LA traffic. Two hours, two and a half hours in fucking traffic. Like, 
like, like it needs certain standards from maybe certain cities, certain areas. But LA ain't got no traffic like no other state. I've been in them all, man. Which maybe New York could touch us. New York could definitely touch us. You feel me? But yeah, like how motherfucker gonna really tell me that I can only work three and a half hours because I moved the truck 30 miles, 30 minutes away. I sat somewhere. And it was like, oh, you should have just stayed off duty. When you got there, you should have just stayed off duty for another five hours and then drove. For fucking what? I've been sitting on my ass for 10 hours. Is it at two different places? Am I not well rested? Did I not sit on my ass enough? Like, see what electron laws like? That's a real situation. Or how about the, or it, it, like, Tacoma, Fife, Sumner, Washington non-trucker friendly areas of Washington at all. And if you don't know the city, you get it's only about two truck stops out there. And everybody that's watching this know what I'm talking about. And it's a call in Fife. You got the Loves and you got that other little joint over there kind of on off the 167. And like Sumner and some shit like that. But anyways, it's only about two or three spots you can really park at. You, you get out there past 6 p.m., 7 p.m., the truck stops is completely 100 percent full. So where the fuck are you supposed to park at? It's a non-friendly trucker city. Nigga like me, I know the streets, I know the areas. I, I could wiggle my way around it. But 100% of the time, any truck driver pulling into Fife, Sumner, Tacoma, Washington for delivery, I guarantee you, they illegal in the morning to make their deliveries, y'all. You know what I mean? Like... Like, like, what is we really out here doing, like, trying to stop? Like, we got to make these deliveries and we got to feed our kids. Situations like with these shippers. Walmart distribution, one of the biggest motherfucking ones. And Fred motherfucking Meyer. You want to get us on electronic laws, then you need to tell these two punk-ass shippers and receivers they can no longer keep us there for five hours. Five, six hours unloading us. Make that a mandate. Make that all these shippers and receivers out here no more than keeping us two hours at a facility, loaded or unloaded. No more of this, we gotta unload you and then we gotta count it and you gotta wait for us to count it shit, wasting our goddamn time. If you want us on electronic law books, then have our backs with these shippers and receivers. Put, put motions into play where these shippers and receivers start getting fined. To where that they gotta come out cash money in their pocket on the spot for us. If we are there more than two hours. You understand? Y'all got our ha your hands in our pockets. Well, we need our hands in these shippers and receivers' pockets because they're wasting our time. Me spending five, six hours at Walmart distribution centers, Fred Meyer distribution centers, two of the biggest ones. Every trucker out here knows this. Five hours minimum. Cut that shit out. You Washington, D.C. Fucking Trump. Hey, my nigga Trump. Yo, hey, you rich, bro. It don't take no five hours to load a semi truck, Donald Trump. It don't. It take maybe I, I could do it by myself with a pallet jack in like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, by myself with pallet jack. They got forklifts doing this shit, man. But they have us there for five hours. That shit ain't cool. It's not fucking right. I'm getting out of this shit before December 18th. I seen videos of a motherfucking white man talking about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. This shit forced him out of the industry. He not making no money. I've only I've been truck driving for six years, owner operator for three. If a cat ten years ago wasn't making it, what make you think I'm finna make it now? But with that said, I stay out here in LA, y'all. I'm big OJ. To all y'all cats that's considering doing this shit, I strongly don't recommend it, y'all, especially if you're not mechanically inclined and willing to drop a radiator on the side of the road like me just to save on neighbor fees. Have them show up and put the thing in, put the two top screws in, all right, get the fuck out of here. I do not recommend this job, this business for anything, for, to anybody. I had a safety audit about two, three months ago. This cat told me, only the strongest gonna survive. He was like, I don't mean to put you down. I'm not trying to say you can't make it. I respect you, but only these big companies is gonna make it. And, and it's the truth, y'all. Like, I see it, you know what I'm saying? I, I really do, I, I, I foresee it. I'm not making it now. When electronic logbooks come, I'm gonna be 20 times broker. 
There's no way in hell. I'm already in the hole. Everything's upside down. I ain't filed taxes in two years. I ain't got no money to do my taxes. You know? And they sit here with their hands out. Every single year, fees, everything going up, fees. They want you to pay for if for the highway, registration, UCR, everything. Y'all, owner operators, I know cats with four or five trucks worried about losing their business this year. Because we got illegal drivers that run and like I said, we illegal as shit and we still broke as shit. So my, I got a homeboy, this nigga run from LA to Portland in one day. That's an 18 hour trip. I don't do that. I, I, I can't drive for 18 hours. I, I like my brakes. But I'm just saying, a, a cat that that to do it in, in, to go to Portland and back in two days is broke. He's illegal. He out here hustling. He out here getting his money, trying to eat, trying to survive. You're not understanding why on the operators, y'all want to take paper logs away from us, but we want to mainly keep it. Ain't nobody scared to say the real reason why we want to keep it, all this other bullshit. Why? Because we want to be fucking illegal. Because we're fucking broke. Get your hands out of our pockets, and we won't have to be illegal. It's, it, 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 it's that simple. You know, it, it really, really fucking is. Take, take some of these fees out. Take this stupid log book. Take all these fines and everything out that we get hit for. You know, shutting us down for five hours. I got a brand new tire on my motherfucking tray. This happened two days ago. Brand new tire, man. Stupid ass fucking nail. Went in the tire, hit the way station, shut me down for five hours. Whatever. Gave me a warning. He didn't put on my CSA score. But it's the principle of the fact I got to sit for five hours for a fucking nail. Like, if I'm on the streets in my whip in my car and I'm driving the neighborhood, you know, you just roll to the fucking tire shop, get that shit fixed. Why the fuck I got to get shut down, a write up, an inspection, just for what? This shit ain't my fault. Like, I got 18 motherfucking tires. What's one fucking tires? Let me roll to the fucking truck stop. Yeah, I'll get the motherfucking fixed, bro. Like, it's too technical. It's too much. They put way too much pressure. They treat you like criminals. Like, 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 like we fucking criminals. Everybody knows it's all about motherfucking money in this world and this whatever you do. But this side of the industry, truck driving is going down here. They see all the money we make. Everybody like, you make money, you make money. Yeah. I made six figures last year. Yes, the fuck I did. I, I did about $170,000 last year. I probably only saw less than $20,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got a whole family, everything, rent. I'm in LA. Well, what's $20,000 in 2017, y'all? I'm broke. I'm mad motherfucking broke. Might do some jail time for the IRS. But I'm just saying. Truck driving ain't the business. I support all y'all cats up there in Washington. You know, I stopped my truck for about a day or two. You know, I wish I could have been out there throwing shit at the White House, these stupid motherfuckers. Ain't nobody, ain't none of them ever been in the motherfucking truck. That's how you know. Get, get in the truck, see how I feel, man. You know, this white guy said, if it ain't no money in it, ain't no point. And it's true, it, it ain't no money in it. Watch the change, watch the downfall. Cause right now, especially in LA, and this is the move I'm making besides some other moves and whatnot, but cats doing Uber and Lyft, y'all. Eating better than any truck driver out here right now. Uber and motherfucking Lyft is making way more than any owner operator, truck driver. It's what about you, what you value too on top of that. Me, I value kids, family, home time a little bit, seeing them every motherfucking week too. But Uber and Lyft, my, my, my boy's Pops, OG nigga from the hood. OG Crip nigga, man. Then truck driving, this nigga in his 50, been doing truck drive 15, 20 plus fucking years, man. Nigga got, got his little brand new Prius. 1300 a week. At home every motherfucking day. I don't need the extra what 1500 i make on, you know i could do it with 1300 i don't need the extra 15 two grand 1500 i make on with this truck because that 1500 is all going to the fucking truck so take the truck out i don't need it this truck sucks up every fucking bit and now y'all got the def shit and then in california 2010 or better now in texas or something another state let a nigga get a 2000 you know i go get me a 2000 a 1999 semi truck. I'll be winning. Major League fucking winning. But in California, you ain't winning. If you in California, any 
anybody out there considering this shit to become an owner operator in California, I strongly advise against it. Don't do it, change your career path, go to the company side. Do not get into becoming an owner operator in 2017. This your boy OJ, this motherfucking October something something. It's 12 o'clock. I ain't touched my log books and I've been out here rolling since motherfucking 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning. Got to this shipper. These niggas ain't got shit together. And this is why they ain't on my motherfucking log. But I ain't even get loaded yet. For what? Get to a shipper. They send me one side. They ain't got the pickup numbers. Send me to one side. They ain't shit ain't right over there. Send me back over here. They shit still ain't motherfucking right. So we cancel the motherfucking load. Give me some other shit. But I'm just saying, man. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. We're trying to get loaded and put gas already. But I'm just saying. This shit is for the motherfucking birds, y'all. These motherfuckers don't respect our time. Don't respect anything about us. Don't give a fuck about us. They, they see us as a paycheck, man. I'm like, 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 that's how I honestly feel about this shit. But this shit crazy, man. I'm broke. I'm struggling. I'm doing all right. I do my thing. I'm a man. I'm going to stand on my feet. But I got to just put this out there, too. Everybody putting it out there, man. I got to put mine out there, too. And tell the motherfucking world. I have way more money as a company driver three years ago. Past the years, I ain't had no more than two grand set up in my bank account. I'm broke. I'm struggling. This shit ain't cool. I'd rather be broke struggling at home every motherfucking day. Like, I'm a nigga, man. I'm from Minglewood. Like, we used to motherfucking broke and struggling. We used to this shit. Being broke and struggling ain't nothing new. But my point is, I'd rather be at home chilling. If I'm struggling, seeing, seeing the kids, relaxing, watching TV, kicking it, still making money, still doing what I do, but at least I'm struggling on the couch. Not struggling in this raggedy motherfucker life. Just saying, man. That shit for the birds.